Hi and welcome to the Board Game Expo 2017. We're here with Warshek who's going to talk to us about a new game in the Mistfall universe called Shadowscape. Shadowscape. Well, what you see here is a small objective-based dungeon crawler. Um, why am I saying it's objective-based? Because there is one type of card that's called the Whispers. When you do whatever the, the Whisper card says, you can claim that card. And as you keep claiming those cards, we'll dig through this deck, a lot of the dungeon will appear, someone will inevitably kill the Lord of the Dungeon, the game will end, and the person with the most shards will be the winner. Now, every turn follows a very simple structure. What you do, firstly, you have a hero phase and then an enemy phase. And during your hero phase, you choose one of your actions, do whatever it says, or move, then you flip the card to reveal a different action, and basically you do it twice. Now, every action has a little symbol here, and you start the game with a number of fate cards in your hand. And fate cards also have symbols, so let's say I want to boost this action, I can, I can discard cards with those symbols to make the action better. So I can search for items better, I can kill something more, deal more damage, heal more damage, move further, and so on and so forth. Now, after you're done with the hero phase, you go into the enemy phase. Again, you draw one fate card from the deck, look at the symbol there. Every enemy with that symbol will activate, move according to its movement pattern in the grid. Uh, if they find a hero during that movement, they will attack the hero. Again, you will be able to defend with your own defense. You will be able to boost your own defense with the symbols. Everything else, you have to place S wounds in your hero area. And if you place it on your action cards, those actions become disabled. And you cannot use them until you heal again. Now, during the game, you will be able to trade in some of your enemy tokens for your action cards. You will be able to trade in the treasure tokens for items, so your character gets progressively better. Uh, the important the difference between items, um, skill, items, actions and whispers is that whispers you only need to have things to take whispers, whereas for everything else you have to give up the, the token. Spend, spend. Yeah, so okay. there is a bit of, an, uh, of a specific dynamic there that do I already spend the tokens and make my character better, or do I use them just to visit a specific place in order to get another whisper card, score more points and come closer to the end of the game. Uh, once per turn you can play one of your fake cards for its effect. As you can see there are two effects for each card, that's because you can play the game cooperatively or competitively. If you're playing competitively you can't attack other heroes directly, but you can use these effects to swap out the positions of some rooms, uh, to move some monsters around, or even to take control of a monster and attack another hero with it. If you're playing um, cooperatively, you obviously don't do those nasty things, but you use the cooperative actions to together go quickly through the Whispers deck before the fight deck runs out. Essentially, this is the whole game. Uh, you get 13 different heroes, everyone with their own set of four actions. You get five dungeon lords, uh, because you set up the dungeon lord before the game. The um, dungeon itself, you set up specifically, you set up actually randomly each time, specifically when you place the corner cards in the corners. The rest is not double-sided, you shuffle them up, create a different dungeon every time. Rules have their own features, spawning points, places which generate symbols for you to automatically boost your actions, places you can use, where you can draw more cards and so on. And if you want to make the game more vicious or more difficult, you can use also the enemy cards, which add special abilities to the enemies that otherwise are an attack, a defense, and a movement. Wow. And that, I think, is the game in the nutshell. In the nutshell. Yeah, it looks, it looks really good. And given it comes in such a small box, you get quite a lot for what you've got, don't you? Yeah, uh, actually the table you see in front of you almost fits everything you would need for a game. There should be actually one more of each of those cards, but if you have a, like a kitchen table or a proper gaming table, it'll fit without a problem. And then it will all break down and go into that tiny, tiny little box, which will fit on your shelf without a problem.